Assalamu alaikum dear students this is me gulzar today we will discuss about the derivative or differentiation of log of x with the help of first principle or ebbinghaus method so let's write let y is equal to log of x this is a function of log and it involves two variables x and y x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable which depends on x let's start the ebbinghaus method you know there are four steps involved in ebbinghaus method let's start from the step number first that is we give small increment on both sides give small increment on both sides or you can say on both the variables x and y since x is an independent variable and y is dependent when we change x y will automatically get changed so we can write y plus delta y is equal to log of x plus delta x let's name this equation as equation second so let's move to the step number 2 of ebbinghaus method that is we subtract equation first from equation second so we can write first equation second that is y plus delta y minus y from equation first that is y is equal to log of x plus delta x minus log of x this negative y and positive y will cancel out we get in the left hand side only delta y so i can write delta y is equal to log of x plus delta x minus log of x now let's move to the step number 3 of ebbinghaus method that is we divide both sides by delta x so let's divide both sides by delta x what we get we get delta y by delta x is equal to log of x plus delta x minus log of x whole divided by delta x dear students you are already aware about some log properties or you can say the laws of logs one of the laws is when we have log of m divided by n i can write it as log of m minus log of n so we will be using this law in our question that is here we have log of x plus delta x minus log of x In instead of m we have x plus delta x and instead of n we have x only so i can write this as dy or you can say delta y by delta x is equal to log of x plus delta x divided by x we used here a very important law of log that is log of m divided by n is always equal to log of m minus log of n so here in the denominator we have delta x i can write delta y by delta x is equal to log of x plus delta x i can put x separately on x and delta x that is x by x and delta x divided by x whole divided by delta x this x and x will cancel out now what we get we get delta y by delta x is equal to log of 1 plus delta x divided by x whole divided by delta x now let's apply step number 4 of ebbinghaus method that is we take limits as delta x tends to 0 now let's take delta x tends to 0 i can write limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 log of 1 plus delta x divided by x 
होल डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा एक्स डेयर स्टूडेंट्स हेयर वी यूज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टैंडर्ड लिमिट दैट इज व्हेन वी हैव अ लिमिट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस एच डिवाइडेड बाय एच where h tends to 0 this limit is always equal to 1 you are already aware about this standard limit you have gone through the limit in previous classes let's use this standard limit to solve or to simplify our expression here that is log of 1 plus delta x divided by x so here we have log of 1 plus h instead of h we have delta x divided by x but here is a small problem in the, uh, in the denominator that is we have delta x only here. We should have delta x by x because here we have log of 1 plus delta x by x. So we will be multiplying denominator by 1 by x. It will become 1 delta x divided by x and same will be multiplied to the numerator. So we can write dy by dx is equal to since in this limit we have delta x tends to 0 log of 1 plus delta x divided by x whole divided by delta x by x we should have delta x by x tends to 0 since delta x tends to 0 we can write delta x by x tends to 0 because when delta x tends to 0 delta x by x automatically tends to 0 so i can write limit delta x by x tends to 0 log of 1 plus delta x by x whole divided by delta x by x into I can apply limit to 1 by x as well that is limit delta x tends to 0 1 by x since in 1 by x delta x is not involved I can write dy by dx this whole limit can be written as 1 because I used a standard limit here I can write 1 into if we apply limit on limit delta x tends to 0 on 1 by x since 1 by in 1 by x delta x is not involved anywhere so i can write simply it as 1 by x so on further simplification we can get dy by dx is equal to 1 by x so we can conclude dear students if we have a function y is equal to log of x then its derivative or differential coefficient is equal to 1 by x. This is how we can differentiate log of x with the help of Ebinsho or by first principle or from definition. In the next lectures, we will be discussing about derivative of some more functions. Here, I am going to wind it up. Till then, goodbye.